the date, February 24th. The year, 2016. The place, Southern California. We were still trying to get rid of our stuff and about to go on an epic road trip. Hold on, car. We were about to go on an epic road trip across the United States to our new home. We were leaving in a month and a half. We were still trying to get rid of all the unnecessary items that we own. We are also getting our truck in order to get it ready for the long haul. We knew we wanted to not stay in hotels as much as possible to save money. I really didn't want to set up a tent every single night at a campground. So we went with what we had, a good truck and a camper shell. And this is what we decided on. We chose to camp, but not tent camping, car camping. I didn't want to make anything difficult. I wanted to keep it simple. Ideally, what we wanted was to sleep back here and to have storage space, the basic needs that you would need to camp for a week with myself, my wife, and a four-year-old. I have a 2015 Toyota Tacoma, four-door, regular cab, and a snug top. Initially, I had some plywood that just ran from this lip all the way across to this lip and that's all I was planning on doing there was no way to get that complete board inside and lay it flat because of the snug top so when I initially thought of the idea of just putting a board across it wasn't going to work how it's too closed in right here and right here in the sides I couldn't bring in a piece of plywood then I thought take the snug top off and then I could just place the plywood on top simple right I can just unscrew it here six of them but I thought I don't want to take the snug top off then I had to put it back on and then if I ever wanted to take this wood platform out which I knew I was going to once we arrived that it I would have to take a snug top off again and then put it back on so that wasn't gonna happen if anybody has a Toyota Tacoma they have these convenient grooves here just above the wheel that I used to place my boards on so that way it wouldn't move too much. The middle part, I made another groove to match so that would just sit right in. I used three quarter inch plywood. I used some maple so that would be nice and sturdy because we're gonna be sleeping on top of this. I had the plywood go through the channel here so that way it would minimize shifting. I also beefed up the top here with two more added boards on the side. I just screwed them in. That was for just to keep it, just to make it more st sturdier, the top, so maybe it wouldn't like shift or fall down. So that's the bones of the structure. We found these plastic containers and that was gonna be our storage. We wanted it wide enough to fit underneath where we slept. On the Toyota Tacomas, there's this little pop-out right here, this little lip. So I had to notch this out so that way this would fit snug in there. 
So that's the platform. We got three eggs. All right. So the platform's pretty sturdy. Without this bin right here, you wouldn't have very good access from underneath. Your arm is not long enough to go all the way underneath if you had stuff way back there. I did leave these open so you could actually open it up if you wanted to, so you could reach in there and get your items. This bed is pretty much just about enough to sleep in without having to be all balled up. It would help if it was an extended bed. Also, if you get claustrophobic, that might not be it for you. If the weather's nice, you can always leave this open to the outside and just have your sleeping bag in there. If you are going to car camp with a snug top, I suggest getting this one with a indoor lock. So that way when you're inside, you can lock it from the inside and you can unlock it. From the roof to the platform, it is a short space, but you're only sleeping. You're not hanging out in here. On our way to our new home, almost 3,000 miles away, we camped out along the way at various site campsites. The project costs a total of about 100 bucks. I bought two sheets of plywood, but I also used the good plywood, such as some maple. You should probably get away with a little bit cheaper if you went with not so good plywood. Yeah, which should still be fine. If anyone's looking to camp and they don't want to buy a tent or they don't have a tent, you have the car, you have the snug top, I would highly recommend one of these platforms. A year ago today, this is what we were doing. Right behind, tomorrow's the day.